Walk to end Alzheimer's returns to Texture Canada in just a couple of weeks. Josh and I are very fortunate to be emceeing this great event and joining us this morning to tell us more are the Walks Market Manager Joel Yates and Kim Pyatt with the Walks National Regional Coordinator for the Edward Jones team. Good morning, ladies. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you for having us. It's hard to believe that it's already been a year <laughs> since last year's walk, but Joel, walk us through what's going to be happening this year. A really exciting event. Yeah, so on Saturday, September 30th, come out to Spring Lake Park and we're going to have vendors set up out there with goodies and treats for you and um, and then we'll have an opening ceremony and then we'll do the walk. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Last year was a little chilly so really just uh, <laughs> grab your jacket if you're planning on coming out and uh, it's time now to register but you can also do it the day of the race. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so you can register. We prefer you to register ahead of time if you can and it's totally free to register so you just go to act.alz.org slash Texarkana and you can get registered there. Yes, so we want to talk a little bit about the team that uh, are part of the walk. Kim, can you tell us a little bit about that, more specifically Edward Jones, who you represent? Yes, Edward Jones is a national sponsor, and we sponsor the Alzheimer's, and we have since 2016. Um, our reason is that it's our purpose to serve our clients and to in a positive impact to help the community, and we help our clients raise funds to for their retirement and we don't want the Alzheimer's disease to rob them of that. Yes, absolutely. And everyone, I think something that really stuck out to me last year was everyone was connected to it somehow, whether they knew someone or they had a friend who had experiences. I think all of us can be touched by Alzheimer in some way. And this is very important to get involved in a walk like this, Joelle. It really is. And we, uh, we have some symbols of different people's connections to the disease with our promise garden ceremony and a flower. And you choose a flower based on your connection to the disease. And we'll have signs out helping you know what color to choose but purple if you have lost someone to Alzheimer's or dementia and yellow if you're a current caregiver people with the blue flowers currently have a diagnosis of dementia and then our orange flowers are supporters who don't have that personal connection yes yeah, certainly and we want to talk about uh, how you guys are able to further research in Alzheimer's by doing walks like this tell us um, how that's going yeah so walk is a primary fundraiser for the Alzheimer's Association and the research is going great um, there's some exciting things that have been coming out you've probably been hearing about some of them yep. lately so yeah we're finally attacking the underlying biology of the disease, clearing those plaques out of the brain. We're not at a cure yet, um, but we're getting uh, our first steps into that direction, I think. So. Certainly, and Walk to End Alzheimer's, it just it really lights that glimmer of hope for all of those people out there who will be participating. So everyone watching us this morning, if, if you have not signed up yet, whether you live in Texarkana or here in Shreveport or surrounding areas, it's just a short drive. So we certainly want everyone to participate. So Joelle, it's going to be Saturday, September 29th. 30th. 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 Yes. Yes. Don't let me lie to you. September 30th. <laughs> you're seeing the information there on your screen. Yes. You can go ahead and register now. You can register the day of the race. And ladies, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We certainly appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much. And I'll see you on race day. I can't yes. wait. Sounds